What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you a very simple trick that you can use on MailChimp that's going to save you a bunch of time when you're trying to notify your audience of a brand new blog post or a new piece of content that you put up on your site. And we're going to do this by setting up what's called an RSS to email template inside of MailChimp. And I'm going to go over all the steps on setting that up on this video. Now before we get started, if this is your first time watching any of my videos, be on the lookout for any annotations and extra links and information down in the description below. And if you're someone that's looking to grow your presence online and start making money through the internet, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon so you get notified every time I put up a brand new video. Now if you're a blogger, a copywriter, or someone that manages other people's social media, it can be time consuming creating a brand new email for every new piece of content that you create. MailChimp actually makes it super easy and I'm gonna show you the steps and how to set this up right now. Now the first thing you wanna do is log into MailChimp and go to the create campaign section. And we're gonna create an email, we're gonna create an automated email, and then you can see down here, share blog updates. This is the feature we wanna click on. Uh, you can name this campaign however you want, I'm just gonna leave the defaults here, and I'm gonna select an email list. I'm gonna use this email list and we're gonna click begin. From here, it's gonna ask you to enter the RSS feed URL. In this example, I'm gonna use the Thenix blog, and the Thenix blog is actually built on a WordPress backend, so to find the feed URL of a WordPress site, it's very easy, you just add slash feed, and it's gonna give me this RSS feed syndication link. Now, if you don't know what an RSS feed is, it's pretty much a standardized way of formatting information so that sites can pull information from other sites. So we're gonna grab this RSS feed URL, enter it here, and then we're gonna select the schedule as to when these emails are gonna go out. I like to put every day at 10 a.m. Now, you don't have to worry about MailChimp sending out that same piece of content over and over again if you haven't put up any new piece of content onto your blog. It's gonna know that, and it's only gonna send out an email every time you put something new. Once you've selected the schedule for your emails, you then want to click on resize RSS feed images to fit the template. This is important so that regardless of whatever size the image you may have on your blog post, it's gonna fit within the email template that we're about to set up. Now we'll click next, and then here you're gonna select which email list you're gonna send it out to. I'm gonna send it to the entire list. And then here's where you're gonna set up your campaign information. This is totally up to you how you wanna set up. Now the only advice I would give you here is on the email subject section, I would suggest you change this to be the RSS feed item title. This will pull the title of the individual blog post that you're gonna share in this email. And by doing this, you can go here, and I'll provide the link to all the RSS merge tags here. And we're gonna grab the RSS item title, which is this one right here. We're gonna copy, paste right here, and then this is gonna pull the blog title of your latest blog post. Once you have that set up and you've entered the information for the rest of the email campaign, the only other thing I would suggest you click on is make sure you click on auto convert video. What this is gonna do is MailChimp is gonna read through your blog post and it's gonna see if there's any embedded videos. And if there's a video in there, it's gonna pull an image and then a link to that video, wherever that may be, whether that's YouTube or Vimeo, and then put that into the email template as well. So we'll click next. And then from here, you can select whatever template you may want. I'm just gonna go very simple and basic. I'm gonna click one column email. And then from here, we're gonna design the email template. This is gonna come with its own set of content. We're actually not gonna need any of this. And what we're gonna need is right down here, the RSS items and the RSS header. So we're gonna add the RSS header here and we're gonna add the RSS items down in the body section. All right, by default, we can actually see by clicking on preview how this is gonna look. And the default settings, it's gonna pull the blog title, and then it's gonna pull the title of the individual blog post, and then a description, a brief description of that post. And then down here, it's gonna give you a link so you can read on and then give your audience the opportunity to then go to the actual blog post on your site. To most people, this should be good enough to send an update on a consistent basis. Then you can design this email, add your header, add your logo, add your footer. Um, but another thing that you can do, and I'm gonna show you here, is you can actually add more and more information. As I showed you before, the RSS merge tags, these are tags that will pull individual items from the RSS 
that then you can customize inside of your email, you can actually select and edit those in this section. So what you can do is actually click on the RSS items section and in here, instead of having excerpts, we can click on full content and it's gonna pull much more information. And let me show you how that looks. And as you can see now, it pulled actually the entire blog post and it has all the information there. And then even down here, it added recent articles, which will include five other blog posts from that blog RSS feed. So this is actually a very useful feature that you can add to your email. From here, you can then customize it even further by clicking, instead of full content, you can click custom and it'll have all the RSS merge tags here, which then you can decide which ones you want to include or exclude depending on how you want your email template to look. Uh, once you've had that all set up, you can click next and you'll have all your information checked out. Make sure that's all good to go. And once you're ready to go, click start RSS, start campaign, and there you go. It's really that easy. MailChimp makes things super simple for you to set up this automation and you never really have to touch it again. Now, every time you put up a brand new piece of content, it's gonna automatically notify all your subscribers at the scheduled intervals that we set up here. Now, if you guys have any questions regarding MailChimp, leave them in the comment section below. I have much more content coming out on MailChimp, so be on the lookout for that. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video.